A local couple is back in Minnesota tonight after hiking across the country. Earlier this year, we shared you there we shared with you their mission to raise money for young girls as they embarked on their trip. Well, Fox 9's Bab Santos caught up with them once again, and their trip wasn't short of any excitement. Erin Dietrich and her husband Chris Ray saved for 10 years and trained for one year to chase after a lifelong calling. It felt like it was a predestiny type thing, like I have to walk across the country. In March, they hit the road after quitting their jobs to take off on the cross-country adventure from the Atlantic to the Pacific, over mountains, through the desert, and crossing 13 different states. Hey, we slept there, we went to the bathroom there, we ate lunch there. They started in Delaware and trekked to San Francisco, covering 12 miles on some days and 34 miles on others before finishing in October. We walked for eight months, um, 3,600 miles on the nose. Walking, walking, walking. <laughs> We're on this great road right now that is just all woods around us. Once across the finish line. I made it. Like, case closed, story over. They bought a car and turned around, retracing their steps to visit people who accommodated them along the way. America's got wonderful people. Yeah. And... We're so happy to be able to walk across it at three miles an hour rather than buzz by at 60 miles an hour, you know. Now they're back home. We just got home yesterday. But at this point, any spot on the map feels like home. We had a dollar and 18 cents left in our walking fund. <laughs> when we pulled into the driveway. <laughs> Along the way, they overcame Mother Nature and the tough question of where they'd be sleeping each night, raising $16,000 in donations for the Ann Bancroft Foundation, a local nonprofit helping get girls into extracurricular activities. It's a lot of dough. I mean, just for walking across the country, you know, we, you know, I, we're very thankful. They earned each dollar. Just 60 miles from their finish line, Erin broke her right foot in a fluke accident. So her husband, Chris, pushed her the rest of the way in a stroller. It was all downhill. So <laughs> it was all good. Reporting in Bloomington, Bab Santos, Fox 9. Glad they made it there. Well,